my name is Katie and welcome back to Royalty Soaps and the 12 Days of Soapmas. Today we're going to be doing a little handmade holiday gift guide. As I like to promote other artisans, especially during the holiday season, everything featured in this video is handcrafted and supports a small business. I'll go ahead and just let you know there's a lot of baby items in here. I'm a new mom. I make no apologies. I will leave links to all the shops mentioned in this video down in the description box below so you can go get your hands on some of the goodies featured. The first shop today is Just Tawny Sweets and I'm going to insert a little video right here of one of her caramel apples. This is the birthday cake caramel apple and it is literally bigger than a softball. The first time I purchased from her I was just blown away. Her popcorn and her apples were so so good that literally the only thing Caleb asked for for his birthday which is on December 18th by the way was more of her products. That's all he wanted. All he wanted was more popcorn and more caramel apples because they are that good. I also I also know that she makes um, like custom like handmade marshmallows which I'm I, I didn't even know you could do that like I thought marshmallows had to be made by like big factories but I didn't even know you could hand make those so I'm like super super impressed so I'm gonna be trying them this time too they are a fabulous fabulous little shop so if you have a sweet tooth you know someone with a sweet tooth that is like the number one place I would recommend shopping small this holiday season the next shop I'm talking about is wildland artistry Marissa is the owner here is an example of her work this is just a little coffee mug and it has mountains all the way around it with a little crackle glaze it's so so cute I love drinking my tea out of this it's just it makes me feel I don't know very whimsical and she makes little toasts totems for your rings and she has all sorts of like custom made items that people have ordered in. You can um, send her a direct message on Instagram and she'll like put together a custom order for you but she also has these little figurines and my favorite ones are little foxes that are holding like crystal balls and they have like big earrings and stuff. It totally totally reminds me of Robin Hood when Robin Hood and little John dress up as like fortune tellers when they rob Prince John. It's so cute. So if you're looking for like very customizable little figurines for people who like little tiny objects, you should check out Wildland Artistry. Moving right along, I'm going to talk now about an Etsy shop called Naughty Dickens. It's an embroidery shop. Now, before I had heard of her and seen any of her stuff, I thought, I would really like to try embroidery and this is the first thing I have ever embroidered. It was made using um, a little kit that she has. She has like a stitching club, like a monthly stitching club. So I signed up for that and she sends you everything that you need to make your own little embroidery hoops like this. So this is the first thing that I've ever done and completed. I'm honestly a little proud of it. Her instructions are really easy to understand and again everything is already in the kit for you so all you have to do is assemble and start stitching. You can also go to her Etsy shop and purchase like the instructions separately if you didn't want to buy the whole kit you could just get the little instructions for how to do your own but if you're a DIY type person and you like giving handmade gifts like this or you know someone who would enjoy making a craft I highly recommend her all of her designs are so cute she really likes to do floral designs and all of them are very modern looking so it's very modern floral which is right up my alley I absolutely love Naughty Dickens you guys should definitely go check her out this next company is an Etsy shop it's called Nature's Court and they're combining two of my favorite things gemstones and candles. So I purchased one of the custom crystal candles they have in their Etsy shop. This is what it looks like. Comes in a little mason jar and then I selected the fragrance herb garden. I've really been into herby scents recently and then the top of it is like decorated with all these little botanicals and then there's like little crystals in there and she kind of custom makes it to whatever you tell her that you like. I told her I really like woodland things and fairies and elves and just sort of down that romantic like kind of flower child trail so this is what she whipped up for me all the botanicals are really vibrant colors it's just super cute and it smells absolutely amazing she also sent me a little mini tea light like a little sample candle here this is scented in lavender and vanilla so good. This is the best lavender and vanilla like fragrance combo I have ever smelled 
ever, I'm totally going to get a big one. Brenda wrote me a little note on my order here and it says that she was including one of their three ounce skull candles, which is very popular with customers all year round. So here's like a little skull made out of glass, very creepy. <laughs> and then the candle is on the inside. So this one is scented with wildflower. Another beautiful, beautiful smell, very floral, kind of have a little honeysuckle, a little gardenia in there. It's a really nice scent. And then on this tag here, it says handmade with soy wax, essential oil blends, paper cotton wick, organic flowers, recyclable containers, and love. So this is super, super eco-friendly. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this company. If you need yourself some soy candles, you know people who are candle lovers, or maybe just looking for like an eco-friendly gift for someone, highly recommend Nature's Court. The next shop is also an Etsy shop, and this one I'm really excited about. This is Brooks Leatherworks. This is a husband and wife duo, and I got a handmade collar for my cat, Gravy. So this is a breakaway collar of embossed leather. There were lots and lots and lots of different designs, but I really like this one. It's adjustable so that um, I can, you know, adjust it when his neck is getting bigger as he's growing, because he's not full grown yet. Very, very high quality. I know this is going to last a really long time. I also know that they make dog collars too, so this is the perfect gift for your little fluffy friend. Moving right along, all of the following items are baby items, and I'm so, so, so excited. So this first one that I'm going to show you is a crocheted little pixie cap. I had this custom made from a girl that I know that I actually went to school with. Her name is Gracia. So she has a Facebook page called crochet by Gracia and you can DM her and she like all she, she said just send me a pattern so I picked out a pattern that I liked I was like can you make this and she's like I sure can she whipped this up in like three days and had it in the mail I had this in a week and Lily looks so cute in this hat she looks adorable and Gracia also makes like ponchos and like little flower headbands she's very very versatile with her crochet skills it's awesome so if you're looking for little crocheted items I totally recommend her I'll leave her Facebook page down below and you guys will also be supporting a very young entrepreneur as well next up is the little poppy company this is a bow subscription I before I had a daughter I had no idea that this even existed but you can get a bow subscription where they send you bows every single month which I thought is just oh it's just a fabulous idea so this is the little Christmas bow set it has kind of a a gold bow here and then we have like a tan and red bow and then we have a green velvet bow if you're following me on Instagram you'll have already seen her in the green velvet bow packaging is super cute for this they have this little postcard in there with information about their company all their bows are really high quality I've gone through a few bows recently that I didn't really like that kind of like fell off the little headband and they just they just weren't very good but this is super high quality I haven't had any problems with them like sliding down on her face or the bow coming off of the headband so I really like this company while we're on bows I'm gonna go ahead and talk about Sadie Lane bows that's another bow company they're not a subscription they're just individual bows here so this is one that I have this is her glitter bow every single time Lily wears this out in public I get compliments on it like everybody loves the glitter bow and then here I have the little bat bow this was so adorable around Halloween everyone complimented me on this one too and I've never actually seen a child's bow that looked like this it's very unique so Sadie Lane bows as well if you're looking to just purchase individual bows and not a subscription the next company is Simon and Cedar I love this mama she is so creative and I have two bonnets from her and two little bibs so look here's one of the little bibs isn't this cute this little floral wildflower design and then it has some terry cloth on the back and Lily is starting to just drool like crazy so these came just in the nick of time this one has a little bit of floral pattern here also with terry cloth in the back I love these I love them I let her wear them all the time because they just they're so handy and it keeps her clothes from getting like completely drool drenched and then of course we have the bonnets I really like putting bonnets on Lily because she's so so bald I'm always afraid that someone is gonna think that she's a boy because she like has no hair so I like putting bonnets on her 
These are so cute. So this is like a, a white floral pattern here with a kind of an icy blue border. And then this is a yellow floral with an olive colored border. They fit her really well. She's a size zero to three months. And you can get different size bonnets from her. And she has an Etsy shop. Definitely go check out her Etsy shop and also follow her on Instagram because all of her photos are just so aesthetically pleasing. I have one more bonnet I wanted to show you. This is from Adelaide and Company. They're also another a bonnet shop and I love 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 their bonnets all of their patterns are so cute this is a little big for lily yet so she hasn't worn it it will probably fit her when i'd say she's about maybe five or six months old but also really high quality with both of these bonnet companies i don't find like any strings or anything coming off of them they're just they're just really well made next up we have banner toys and i bought lily this little rattle this is her first little baby rattle this is also from a husband and wife duo they are very sustainably harvested like conscious when it comes to the woods that they use all of their little teethers and rattles are so cute they have some that can be like customized. I'm pretty sure that they have some like for your state. I really need to get her a Texas one. Texas proud. But I'm really excited to get more little teether toys and stuff for her for them. So if you know a little wee babe that's starting to need a chew toy, I highly recommend Banner Toys. They're really high quality and you can feel good about your purchase knowing that everything that they're using is sustainably sourced. Next up is Sack Threads. This is a little bloomer shop, you guys. I am so obsessed with bloomers. They're so cute. So this is the one that I have. It's a little denim bloomer. And then I have one more here, which is a little brown and pink floral. Very, very tiny flowers here. These are three to six months, which are still a little bit big for Lily because she's really small. But I would say that their little bloomers definitely run true to size. It's just that Lily's smaller than her age. <laughs> They have so many different types of bloomers. And I also happen to know that they have some that are available exclusively for the holiday and Christmas time, like lots of velvet prints and plaids and stuff. Really, really cute. So bloomer up your wee babe and go to sack threads. The final company that I'm featuring in this gift guide is Little Moon Leather. They sell through Instagram. So what you do is bid on one of their photos and then they'll send you a PayPal invoice I, I am just obsessed with their shop. They sent me this little bitty teeny tiny card. It's so cute. And on the back it says handmade, hand painted bags and accessories. So this is the bag that I got for Lily. It has this giant pom pom on it. So cute. I actually had them write her name on it, which you can do. They can even add a pom pom and they will add her name for free. And then this really pretty sort of like Scandinavian print on here. Very, very colorful. This is very well made. And I know that when Lily gets older, she is going to adore it. And right now I'm going to be hanging it up in her bedroom as decoration so you can see it's got a little pouch in here and you know all little girls want a purse they all want a purse so I know she's just going to love this and I love this too so definitely check out little moon leather for all the little girlies in your life that need little purses and also this is very durable it is definitely going to withstand her toting it out into the backyard and romping around with it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe Subscribe to the channel maybe even leave me a comment down below be sure to check out all of the shops mentioned here I'm pretty sure that if you order now most of these places will be able to ship to you in time for Christmas here's Lily in her little crochet hat you have no idea how many compliments we get when we go out to the grocery store or to the park or something and she's wearing this everybody wants to get one for their little <laughs> if you do end up purchasing from any of the shops down below be sure to let them know that Katie Carson from Royalty Soap sent ya. And until tomorrow, we hope you have an absolutely royal day. And bye for now.